and we go before the Lord and we see him face to face and we finally see as we are seen and, and we know as we are known and we love as we are loved. We will see his face and we will say, oh, <laughs> right, right. It had to be this way. There is no other way. This was the only way in the whole realm of all things, Lord. This was the only way forward. And even my own mistakes, even in my own sin, even in the places that I thought were far lost, nothing is beyond God. And everything in this whole universe fits into the palm of his hand right here. And you and I have these places in our life. We have these parts of our hearts where we believe. I mean, you're here, you're seeking, you're looking for something more. We're all aching for Jesus to be born on Christmas Day. And then all of us have these parts of our hearts too. And I tell you this, dear friends, and I'm saying this as much to myself as I am to you. If we're not continually allowing the Lord to come and find us in these places, if we're not opening our hearts to him, even if when it seems really scary, if we're not on this journey of just even being willing to be willing to, to have the Lord come and find us because he's not afraid, he's not afraid. If we're not going to these places with him and living this authentic life with him, then I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what we're doing because we are made for union with him. And that longing that we have, that nothing in this world could ever fully satisfy is an ache for eternity. So what is it for you? Because I think all of us have places in our hearts where we ache. We all have a one thing. And there's a one thing right now in your life that probably the Holy Spirit's bringing to your heart. And you're like, oh, not that. <laughs> but what is that for you? If we're not continually allowing the Lord to come and find us in these places, if we're not opening our hearts to him, even if when it seems really scary, if we're not on this journey of just even being willing to be willing to, to have the Lord come and find us because he's not afraid, he's not afraid. If we're not going to these places with him and living this authentic life with him, then I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what we're doing because we are made for union with him. And that longing that we have, that nothing in this world could ever fully satisfy is an ache for eternity. So what is it for you? Because I think all of us have places in our hearts where we ache. We all, And that longing that we have, that nothing in this world could ever fully satisfy is an ache for eternity. So what is it for you? Because I think all of us have places in our hearts where we ache. We all have a one thing. And there's a one thing right now in your life that probably the Holy Spirit's bringing to your heart. And you're like, oh, not that. <laughs> but what is that for you?